off in this direction. Right. Stepping softly, moving slowly. You can never be too quiet when stalking wild game, especially antelope jackrabbits. You think you're being quiet, you're trying to move and it's loud, and these things have giant ears. This is 12-year-old Ian Gawin's first time hunting. His dad, Ray, got to share the experience. He showed an interest in hunting, which I never had, but he does, so we're sharing it together. They're learning from Chris Query, who just spotted one of the crafty critters. It's 75 yards, you want to try it? So after a long morning spent tracking jacks, their patience pays off, and Ian may finally get to take his first shot. He's sitting underneath that branch. We'll catch up with him in a moment, but first let's take a few steps back to see where this hunt began. Tents and trailers in the Alter Valley southwest of Tucson served as central command for the 2013 Junior Jack Camp. It's a free event for kids 10 to 14 years old with little or no hunting experience. This is the fifth year of the jackrabbit hunt. It's been a phenomenal success. We've had Game specialist Jim Heffelfinger, known as Jackrabbit Jim, runs the camp for the Arizona Game and Fish Department. But he gets a whole lot of help from the Arizona chapter of Safari Club International, Sportsman's Warehouse, the National Wild Turkey Federation, and a bunch of volunteers. They finished setting up camp Friday evening before a night of nasty weather. We had uh, a lot of blustery, rainy, kind of windy weather. And then this morning the sun broke, the wind laid down, and rabbits were everywhere. Hoping to shoot something. That's a jackrabbit. I'm gonna get five. You could sense the excitement Saturday morning as kids finished their breakfast and started gathering their gear. We've gotta be quiet. Chris met with Ian and his dad to plan their hunt. We're gonna do the same thing. He's ready for cases. All right. And when the first groups of hunters started rolling out of camp, Team Ian wasn't far behind. It's some heat going in the windshield here. We're going to be hunting on state trust land today. To get to their hunting ground, they drive across a private ranch. The owner generously allows folks to pass through his property as long as they register at this game and fish checkpoint. After signing in, they continue on a short journey to their final destination. So we're almost at this one. We get in and look. Here's the road. When they arrive, Chris takes time to review some important information. So I have a friend of mine in search and rescue, and he says the opposite of getting lost is staying found. So he shows we Ian where they are on a map. So you look at the number. It's four, and what the plan is should they get lost or separated from the others. Head to the road and we'll start driving the roads looking for it, but hopefully that doesn't come to that point. All right, let's get the rifle out. He also goes over some of the fundamentals of firearm safety. Okay. So we're going to walk around with the safety on. Ian hasn't hunted before, but he already knows the basics. All right. To be eligible for the Junior Jack Camp, he and the other campers had to complete a game and fish hunter education class. And you're going to dry fire on a target. No ammo. Here are the coyotes. <laughs> cool, huh? <laughs> Follow through, so pull the trigger and leave it pinned to the rear. After Ian demonstrates he's ready to hunt, Good. They set out in search of an antelope jack. Hours into the hunt, Ian still has nothing to show for it. The group spotted several rabbits darting off into the distance, but they were never in range of the rifle. And as Jim says, you know, the number one job for a rabbit is to be food for everything else. So they're good at being elusive. As Ian continues hunting, some kids are already returning to camp with rabbits in hand and pure joy on their faces. Mostly smiles, smiles, smiles all around on everybody. It just seems to be such a fantastic success. And the first little girl, Erica, came back with six rabbits. Have you ever done this well before? Yeah, well, well, not all at once, but last year I got eight, so I'm working on it. <laughs> Every jack is measured and weighed. Eight pounds, three ounces. And they can weigh a lot. Actually, this antelope jackrabbit that we have down here it runs eight to 10 pounds, and, it, and it's not all over the West. It really is a species that's in southeastern Arizona in, in certain soil types in certain areas. So it really is a special jackrabbit. 
See that little thing right here? That's a little baby tick. It's an animal scientists want to know more about. So Game and Fish invited biologists from ASU and the U of A to participate in the camp. We have people collecting stomachs to look at food habits. We have people collecting DNA for two different DNA studies. We have uh, some parasitologists looking at parasites. And then we have um, collecting some long bones and we're looking at aging animals by, by x-raying the, the feet. So there's a lot of science going on here. So we take the leg uh, to measure the recruitment of the rabbits in the, in the population, which is basically how many are new rabbits in a given year versus are adult rabbits. 17 and an eight. After the scientists get what they need, the kids learn how to clean their rabbits, and later they'll even get a taste of jackrabbit stew. That one's done. Junior Jack Camp introduces kids to just about every aspect of hunting. Jackrabbits are the absolute ideal entry-level Hunt. They're, they're a small big game animal is what they are. And so we take kids out and it's all the elements of a big game hunt. It's the spotting, it's the stalking, it's getting in a good shooting position. Which brings us back to where we left Ian at the start of this story. He's still waiting to take his first shot when Chris spots a jack about 75 yards away. He's in that vicinity. There's a glimmer of hope that's gone in an instant when the rabbit races out of range and out of sight. We saw 11 rabbits today, so that's, that's step one, is know where to find the rabbits and start seeing them. And the next thing is, you know, hopefully get your rifle up on one. <laughs> when you get out there, you will see a lot more running off at 200 yards. They're not, and that's a great thing about taking kids out, is that they're, it's not like shooting a fish in a barrel. You have to use all of your hunting skills and, and really do a good job to be successful. But there, there's enough of them out there and you get enough opportunities that, that sooner or later, most kids are successful at these camps. When Ian returned to camp, he saw just how much success some of the other kids were having. During the weekend, they brought in a total of 103 yeah, antelope jacks, <laughs> averaging just over eight pounds. The heaviest was a whopping 10 pounds, six ounces. Okay, big smile. Ian didn't get a rabbit Saturday morning, but with two more hunts left to go, he wasn't giving up hope. And if it doesn't work out, he says he still had a really good time. It was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. That seemed to be the consensus among the kids and their parents. <laughs> well, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> she gets excited, I get excited. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's all I can say. I enjoyed it. Uh, I learned a lot. Uh, for our first hunting trip, it was an excellent way to learn the basics. It was fantastic. Uh, our guide, Chris, did an excellent job. I'm just kind of here to help him show the way and hopefully get him hooked, and I think they already are. If they weren't then, they are now. Ian finally shot his first rabbit, a perfect ending to a wonderful weekend at the 2013 Junior Jack Camp.